Yes. Two, three, four, five. All right, I think I see everybody. Brutus, and the Latin phrase, 
the Ides of March. Yeah. Incorrect. Name this Roman ruler whose murder is the climax of a Shakespeare play named for him. Maggie. Caesar is correct. Julius Caesar. All right, top up number two is language arts spelling. Some psychologists today say that children aren't as resilient as they used to be, and so it takes them longer to recover from a difficult situation than it used to. Spell the adjective resilient. R-E-S-I-L-L-I-A-N-T. Incorrect. Hang on one second so I can hear you. Okay. Uh, Jack. R-E-S-I-L-I-E-N-T. That is correct. R-E-S-I-L-I-E-N-T. Resilient. All right. Top up three is a 30-second question. And it is mathematics algebra. Evaluate f of x at x equals 4 if f of x equals 5x squared minus 6x plus 13. All right, these math problems are ridiculous this year. Um, I don't even know how to start to tell you how to do it because there's like eight steps in how to tell you the answer. But the answer was 69, how to get there. Not for sure. I have to eat now. I need to go to bed. In the ballpark. Well, I don't end up taking Well, there is a very long equation on how to get. I don't know where it is. All right, I will know the next one. Science, physical science. Battery acid and soda pop may have a value of one or two on this scale. Caleb. The pH scale? Yep, the pH scale. There's a long paragraph to go along with that, but I'm leaving. Fine art is toss-up number five. The new movie named for this artist tells of a Dutch Jewish man who after World War II finds that a countryman accused of selling stolen art to the Nazis actually sold a forgery of this artist's work to Hermann Goering. Name this 17th century Dutch painter of view of belt and woman with a pearl necklace. All right, that painter is Vermeer. The film was called, the, or is called, The Last Vermeer. Concept number six is science life science. Considered an animal called a polyp, even though it attaches itself to the ocean floor like a plant, it uses its tentacles to sweep food into its mouth and uses the calcium and carbonate ions in seawater to build itself a limestone skeleton. Name this sea creature whose skeletons often join together over time to create reefs. Used by many, Tyler. Coral. Coral is correct. Used by many fish for protection. A good match. 21. Top of seven is language arts literature. This author's unfinished story, Aunt Nellie's Diary, started when she was a teenager. It was published in 2020. Besides the novel for which she is most famous, her literary career also included thriller stories and tales of her time as a volunteer Civil War nurse. 
Name this author whose children's novels include Eight Cousins, Rose in Bloom, and Little Women. Yeah. Incorrect. It's Alcott, Louisa May Alcott. I think she was on our list of authors. Concept eight is social studies current events, and these are current. In 2020, this city raised its minimum wage to 4,000 francs per month, or about 22 euros per hour. Identify this city that is home to the World Council of Churches, the International Baccalaureate Program, and the International Red Cross, and is the largest French-speaking city in southern Switzerland. All right, it is Geneva. Oh boy, get your buses ready. Concept number nine is language arts literature. This character, nicknamed Padfoot, was the only member of his family to be sorted into Gryffindor. Next. Serious Black. That is correct. Serious Black. There's a long paragraph to go along with that one that I wanted to read, but we won't. <laughs> Lots of good clues for him. All right, concept number 10 is miscellaneous industrial technology. This object was developed in the days of horse and buggy to keep the riders clean if the horses stopped suddenly. In recent decades, car makers have added padding to it for safety and now put airbags there too. Name this part of a car's interior, easily reachable by the driver, that is located below the windshield and... Abby? Dashboard is correct. Yep, contains the car speedometer, main gauges, and steering wheel. All right, concept number 11 is mathematics, geometry, no 30 seconds, just 10. Its volume is one third of a cylinder with the same dimensions. Finding its surface area requires measurement of its slant height from top to bottom. Name this geometric object defined as a three-dimensional solid whose base is a circle and whose top is a single point. Taylor, cone is correct. All right, concept 12 is language arts vocabulary. It can be a gutter through which water can pass or a way to communicate from one group to another. Give this seven-letter word that can also mean a narrow body of water between two land masses and what you have to change to watch a desired TV show. Kayla? Channel. Channel is correct. All right. Concept 13 is science, general science. Imagine a right triangle with a base one astronomical unit long that has an angle opposite from it equal to one arc second. The height of the triangle then equals what very long unit of measure that equals 648,000 divided by pi astronomical units, about 3.09 times 10 to the 16th meters, or about 3.26 light years. Thing. Okay. Yes? No? Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. It's a parsec. Looking for the unit. All right, now is a 30 second question. Oh boy. Okay. It's mathematics, geometry. Give the coordinate of the point that is 80% of the way from three 
and 15, and toward 8 and 30. marriage with her ambitious fifth cousin. Later, she would be the architect of international human rights, urging Americans to cope with the anxiety of global annihilation by cultivating a world mind. Name this woman who spent 12 years as America's first lady. Jim? Roosevelt is correct. Eleanor Roosevelt. All right, toss up 16 is miscellaneous sports. One example of it is when a batted ball gets caught in the ivy at Chicago's Wrigley Field. Its most common occurrence is when a ball bounces on the field and then ends up in the stand. Name this baseball situation. Tyler? Ground rule double is correct. As a result of a batted ball, every base runner is awarded exactly two bases. Another 30 second math question. That'd be the last. All right, this is math, general math. Christina has 13 and a half cups of flour to make cookies with. If each batch of cookies requires two and one fourth cups, how many full batches of cookies can she make? Caleb? Six is correct. No 30 seconds needed, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, final count is top of 18. A 2020 study of a tribe in the Amazon indicates that this parameter may have a lower value than long thought. But scientists can only guess at reasons for the decline, including fewer infections and better antibiotic treatment. Identify this quantity, long known to fluctuate as much as one degree during the day anyway. That is now estimated by recent studies to be about 36.5 degrees Celsius or 97.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, you guys should be mad at yourself. Body temperature. Body temperature. What? 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 All right, Tasso 19 is fine arts music. Played with either a German or a French bow, it can be equipped with a rubber mute that keeps the noise down in an apartment building. Tuned in fourth instead of in fifth. The end pin that helps it stay on place on the floor is larger than the one used by a cello. Name this musical instrument the lowest pitch of all the string family. It is the bass. Yes. All right, class of 20 is miscellaneous consumer economics. I think that's right now. A balaclava? B-A-L-A-C-L-A-V-A. Balaclava? 
a t-shirt, a bandana, and a net gator are among the common objects that can be altered to make one of these. This object is usually made of some kind of cloth, but can even be a plastic shield. What object commonly used in 2020 is also, okay, <laughs> yeah, I was uh, very good. <laughs> 21 is social studies civics. People with this job often work with an elected council to improve the life of the citizens under their jurisdiction. This job is usually in charge of dozens of employees that may inspect buildings, maintain parks, and supervise local construction. Give the two word term for this government post, typically unelected, that supervises the day to day operations of a metropolitan area. Next, what do you say? Not the township. That now the guest city manager. All right, class of 22. Oh, one. Miscellaneous video game. Okay. All right, in a 2020 video game, this character meets Olivia, the sister of wicked King Ollie, who is trying to refold the world. In another recent game, he meets Sonic the Hedgehog at the 2020 Olympics. Name this Nintendo character, Tyler, Mario is yeah. celebrating his 40th birthday in 2021. Wow. Olivia? Uh, I don't know. All right. Topic 23 is science health. In the mid 1800s, American doctor J. Marion Sims developed new surgical techniques by operating repeatedly on a set of black female slaves who had serious physical problems as a result of difficult childbirth experiences. Thus, Sims is often considered the controversial father of what medical speciality that deals with women's reproductive systems. Sorry, guys. Awkward. Caleb. It is gynecology. Yeah. Um, I know, I was like, really? Do I have to read this? Oh, yeah. All right, last one to social studies and geography. This city, famed for its thermal spring, also contains the Millennium Underground Railway, the second oldest subway in Europe. Its chain bridge over the Danube River connects the two main parts of this capital city. Its hero square honors the seven chieftains of the Magyars, named this capital of Hungary. And that capital is Budapest. All right, so that's it for toss up. It is 100 to 60. Uh, you want to stand out and stretch for a quick focus break. <laughs> yep, you can go to the bathroom. Yeah. 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 How did you get questions as this big? Yeah. Oh, seven? Yeah. Oh. He's on game mode. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Caleb. Not that river. Rebecca? No, the guess is the Rubicon River. Rubicon. All right, part three. He spent the winter of 48 BC in this Egyptian city where he met Cleopatra. Oh. Maggie. Yes, don't say it questioning. Oh, it out. Alexandria. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The pyramid of Giza. All right, part four. The, the, the Encyclopedia Britannica says that Caesar suffered from this condition, experiencing several seizures. It was 225 pi. You had to multiply 15 times 15 times pi. All right, part three. I'll do 20 seconds. What is the length of 300 degree arc of the circle? Oh, sorry. What is the length of a 300 degree arc of a circle? Maybe it's 10 more. Tyler? Incorrect. It was 25 pi. You're supposed to do 300 divided right by 360, multiply that by 30 pi. Yeah, I'll give you 30 for the last one. Okay. What is the area of a sector whose central angle is 72 degrees? That one is oh, uh, 45 pi, and it said you would do 225, wait, one fifth of 225 pi. How do you get that one? It's like foreign language to me, so sorry. All right, moving on, we can do the next section is science, earth science. Many scientists consider prehistoric times to have seen five major extinctions. 
Part one, the Ordo Vician, O R D O V I C I A N, Silurian extinction wiped out more than 80% of organisms in this general location. It was the ocean or the sea. Oh. <laughs> Part two, the Permian extinction saw most of this group of animals get wiped out. A group that can typically survive somehow, even in the harshest of conditions. It is an insect. Yeah. I'm here to talk harder. Oh, I don't know what that is. All right, part three. This most recent of the five extinctions came from 65 million years ago. Jack? Incorrect. Uh, this most recent of the five extinctions, some 65 million years ago, is thought to have wiped out dinosaurs. Incorrect. Um, its name is the Cretaceous slash tertiary extinction or the KT extinction. Fancy name. Speaking of part four, the KT extinction is now thought to have been caused by one of these objects. Caleb. Incorrect. Uh, one of these objects hitting the earth somewhere in Mexico. Name? Yeah. I'm going to put it up. I'm going to put it up. All right. Four days is 80 to 130. Tyler. What are you? Yeah, Tyler. 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 Needs to be your friend. Don't take them like that. Wait, is it 1 30? 1 30. All right, language arts vocabulary. Give the prefix that can be added to each set of words to create new words. Your answer must make a new word for each word in a set. And here we pull up here. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, so you're going to give me the prefix that you can add to these words that I give you. But they, that prefix has to make a new word for each word. All right, part one. Try, fabricate, amble, dominant. Caleb? Pre is correct. Yep, prescribe, fabricate, preamble, predominant. I get it. Yeah. All right. Here we go with the second set. Do, D U E, set, side, title. Maggie. Incorrect. Jack. Close. Incorrect. Um, it's a prefix, Maggie. Oh, that incorrect. Uh, sub. Subdue, subset, subside, subtitle. Part three. Behave. Conduct. Giving. Caleb. Miss is correct. Misbehave, misconduct, and misgiving. All right, and the last one of this section is fact, fiction, conformance. Jack? No. Non is correct. Non fat, non fiction, non conformant. Good, I like that category. That's fun. All right, score update 150 to 90. Anything else, sir? Yeah. All right, top or bonus. Part six is fine arts music. Answer these about how white and black keys are laid out on a piano. Part one, 
Between each set of two black keys, there's another set of this number of black keys. Tyler? Three. Three is correct. Part two, this note is the highest black key in each set of two black keys. Maggie? Not F sharp. It is D sharp or E flat. Part three, this note is the highest black key in each set of three black keys. Caleb? A sharp? A sharp is correct, or B flat. All right, last one for music is in each octave, these are the two pairs of white keys that have no black keys between them. Two pairs. Maggie? Mm -hmm. Incorrect. All right, it is C e and F and B and C. There are two pairs that have no black keys between them. Yeah, interesting. Oh, well, this is fun. All right, this lady is movie. In honor of this Halloween being John Candy Day in Toronto, Canada, answer these about movies starring the late Canadian comedian. You can tell these are written at the beginning of this lawyer. Part one. In the film Splash, he was the brother of this better known actor who stars in News of the World. Tyler? Not Kevin Hart. It is Tom Hanks. Yeah. We have lots of movies. I didn't know who's the world. Part two. In this film, Candy is the polka musician who tells Kevin McAllister's mother while they're riding in a van, we're big in Sheboygan. Maggie. Oh, yes. <laughs> I thought you would use that for a Part three. Candy helps the bobsled team from this Caribbean country compete in the Winter Olympics in the movie Cool Runnings. How weird that is. Caleb. Cuba? Not Cuba. Brayden. No, it's Jamaica. We are the Jamaican Bobsled team. That's a great movie. You need to watch Cool Running. <laughs> yes. All right, part four. He plays this film's title character, a lazy, unemployed relative who comes to babysit his nephews and niece and helps straighten out everyone's life in the process, including his own. And that movie is Uncle Buck. I bet your families know that movie and like that movie. Our next bonus section is Social Studies Civics. That may or may not be the last one, depending on how quickly we get through it. Because you are identifying the constitutional amendment. Very good. All right, part one says, or the amendment that says, the enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage and others retained by the people. And this is going to pick some weird ones. Caleb? The ninth? It is the ninth. Yep, the ninth amendment. All right, part two. It restricts U.S. presidents to two terms. That is, yep, the 22nd Amendment. 
Part three, it allows U.S. senators to be elected by popular vote. Brayden, right not the 19th. Can't buzz that. Can't buzz. <laughs> Caleb. No, the 17th amendment. You were close, Brayden. Okay. And part four, it repelled prohibition. Right there, repelled. Repealed. Caleb? It was the 21st, yes. <laughs> you guys got them all. You got Oh, yeah, I'm sure you have to do all of the amendments. Do you want one more? One more. We have time for one more. It is, but that's okay. All right. Language arts and psychology. Ooh. Answer these about Perseus from Greek mythology. Part one. His father was Zeus who came as a shower of gold to see his mother, or sorry, hang on, the other one. His father was Zeus, who came as a shower of gold to see this mother of his. Maggie. Yes, that is correct, yeah. Dana. I was not really sure how to pronounce the ending, but yes, yeah, oh, right. it's Dana. D A N A E. And I was like, Dana. Yeah, All right, part two. As a wedding present for his stepfather, he obtained the head of this war god. Abby, it is Medusa who would turn you to stone. Part three, Perseus married this nymph he saved from a sea monster. It was Andromeda. And part four, Hermes gave Perseus a pair of beads so he could stack. Can you be more specific? Wait, wait. Incorrect. Uh, Hermes gave Perseus a pair of these so he could fly. I might have to take those. Oh, you were going to say sneakers and sandals. So. Well, take the chat. I know it was Yeah. All right. So the final score is. 